Hi, this is Steven with Interfit, and in this video, we're gonna go over a few things you'll wanna keep in mind when using any of the Interfit remotes with our S1, S1A, or Honey Badger. The Interfit remotes are the key to the entire Interfit flash system. Yes, all of these lights can be triggered using a sync cable or an optical slave cell, or even a third-party remote, but you really need one of these Interfit remotes in order to truly unlock the potential of the lights. We now have four remotes in our lineup. There are three dedicated TTL remotes and a new manual remote that is compatible with all cameras. And all of these remotes can be used with the S1, S1A, or the Honey Badger. But they all have a few differences and that's what we're gonna go over now. The three TTL remotes are dedicated to a given manufacturer. So for instance, this one is a Canon remote. We have one for Nikon and we have one for Sony. And these are necessary if you plan on using the S1 or the S1A in high speed sync or TTL modes. You can use these TTL remotes with the Honey Badger, but only in manual mode. The, they will not work if you're using them in TTL or high speed sync mode. All of the Interfit remotes have been optimized for the S1 and the S1A's nine stop power range. So you can adjust power between 10.0 and 2.0. Well, the Honey Badger has a seven stop power range, which means it goes from 10.0 to 4.0. And it's important to remember that when you're using the Interfit remotes with the Honey Badger, if you power down below 4.0, even though the remote will show you a lower reading, the Honey Badger is going to stop at 4.0. It's also going to give you an audible double beep to let you know that you've reached the bottom of the power range. Now this beep will occur even if the beep function has been turned off, but it stops as soon as you adjust the remote power back to 4.0 or higher. Now the TTL remotes have eight different channels that allow you to work in close proximity with other photographers without interfering with their strobes. Now, although the Honey Badger has 15 channels, if you're using one of the three TTL remotes, you'll only be able to use channels one through eight. The TTL remotes have three control groups, A, B, and C. These allow you to independently control groups of lights without affecting the rest of your setup. Now you can assign any three of these lights to any three of the groups on your remote, but there is one thing you'll want to remember when using a Honey Badger with one of the TTL remotes. And that's that although the Honey Badger has eight control groups, A through H, you'll only be able to use it on groups A, B, or C when using one of the TTL remotes. So let's recap. When using the TTL remotes with the Honey Badger, it is important to know that although the power range on the remote will go down to 2.0, the Honey Badger will stop at 4.0 and beep at you if you try to lower the power further. You'll also need to make sure that the Honey Badger is set to channels 1 through 8 and groups A, B, or C. Now the new manual remote will let you use all 15 channels and 8 groups for the Honey Badger, but there are a few things to consider. The new manual remote is compatible with the S1, S1A, and the Honey Badger, and it can be used on any camera, film or digital. As long as it has a hot shoe, it's going to be compatible. It shares a lot of the same basic features as these TTL remotes, but there are a few key differences. First of all, as the name would suggest, it is a manual only remote. So if you're using it with the S1 or the S1A, you're not going to be able to use TTL or high speed sync but you still have access to the other features such as radio control, a nine stop power range, and battery power on the S1 if you wanna go out on location. The manual remotes have 15 channels. So like I said earlier, you will get access to all 15 control channels on the Honey Badger, but if you're using the S1 or the S1A, you'll have to use channels one through eight. The same goes for control groups. The manual remote has eight groups, so it gives you full access to all eight groups on the Honey Badger, A through H. But the S1 and the S1A only have three groups, so you'll need to assign those to groups A, B, or C. Now there are a few additional features on the manual remote. First is auxiliary power through this micro USB port. This lets you power your remote through an AC power source. This is great for long-term or even permanent remote fixtures because as long as the remote is plugged into an AC power source, it's not going to shut off, even if it's not being used for a while. Uh, plus, you won't have to worry about changing out dead batteries. 
The second feature on the manual remote is the 3.5mm sync port. This lets you connect it with other remotes in order to integrate your interfit lights into an existing setup. For example, say your existing lights are already being triggered by a pocket wizard. You can take this remote and a sync cable and connect it to the pocket wizard in order to get everything to fire together. And then the best part is, you'll still be able to control the, all the functions of your interfit lights using this remote. Now you can find detailed instructions on all of the controls for the interfit remotes in the remote instruction manual. And if you have any further questions, you can always reach out to us through our website or send us a message on Facebook. We're always happy to help. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for upcoming instructional videos and tutorials. And be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.